I believe like a month ago. Yeah, oh my God, it's actually been two months now. Look, I posted this video, my first ever gold I unboxed chat. And you know what? Yesterday, I was in a complete brain fried mode and I wanted to find this knife. And there is no way to find this knife like in an easy way because when I unboxed it, there was no databases, there was no floats, there was nothing, nothing existed. So the only way to find this knife is just literally by going one by one throughout every single pattern that exists in the world, which is like probably close to thousand, maybe a bit less than thousand for these uh, uh, M9 Boreal Forest. It might be 1,000 though. I don't know. But maybe for field test, it's not 1,000. Uh, and that's exactly what I did yesterday, chat. I went through, I didn't go through 1,000 patterns. I actually got a bit lucky and I found the exact pattern by going through like 100-ish. Can't you find it through inventory history? Yeah, like you can't find it, but you can't inspect the knife. And when you go to the guy that I sold it to or traded it to, he doesn't have the knife, obviously, right? It's 2014. It's been 10 years. Why would the same guy still have the same knife? Oh, it was May. Oh my God, what a start to the summer, huh? Well, almost summer. End of the and of the school. Yeah, look, so I unboxed it. I'm on May, May 16, 2014. Again, there was no databases, no nothing. And then the same day, a few hours like later, I traded it for an op graphite extra and a gut knife blue steel. And like, there's no way to click on the knife. There's no way to inspect it through Steam. The only way to, to like see where the knife has went is, I don't know, to click on this guy and fucking email him, man. Jose.trans at gmail.com and ask him, hey man, where's my fucking knife at? But obviously this guy doesn't have the knife anymore. I don't think he even plays the game no more. He might not, not even be alive anymore if anything but yeah so that is impossible so what i did i went onto flow db and i literally just typed in m9 borel forest i clicked the float from 0.15 to 0.30 was it 35 i think i just searched for it because i know the knife is field tested i know you know i know that but there's literally 2.5k knives which is actually not wait not that many when you think about it homie didn't have the knife for a day yeah because i didn't like it i didn't like the knife my dream knife was a uh, gat knife blue steel not this fucking m9 borel forest looking ass shit. It wasn't even that good looking. Yeah, I started just inspecting it one by one, all of these patterns. And you know, all of them were different. And then I just gave up. And you know what I did, chat? Got knife, dream knife. Okay, dude, listen, man, listen. I was humble back then, okay? Humble. I was I was being realistic. What What's a knife I could realistically get? And that was the gut knife, man. And I got it. So boom, completed my dream in literally a fucking day. Oh, and also, also, one sec, chat, one sec. Just so you have more context behind this whole unboxing here, I have this case opening spreadsheet that I haven't updated since last year may i still need to update it but this knife wasn't boxed in my 30th case ever so technically if i stopped opening cases here i still would have been in profit man because at the time the knife was worth around like what 80 euros something like that maybe 80 ish euros 70 80 so 30th fucking case i got my m9 boreal forest chat so then i kind of just gave up and i started to explore the options on the site man so i clicked on oldest id i don't know what it does i just clicked on it and i literally wait why is it back okay this one's back but i I inspected the first thing, the first knife that is not vacked, and look how it looks. Chat, take a close look, okay? Dial in right now, dial in. Actually, before I show you this knife, let me show you the knife that I unboxed. Yeah, look, look, look. I posted this before I unboxed the knife, man, like some weeks ago. Statue gun and blue steel. This is the dream right here. It looks so good, man. Such a nice knife. Okay, there we go. So this is the knife, right? It's kind of hard to tell. I'm very glad I took screenshots of it, okay? From both sides. I'm very, very happy I did that because this is what, this is the, the game changer, which made me find the knife all right so pay attention to this bottom part right here i'll zoom it in for you it's like a u-shaped thing right and now let's go back to the this knife right here the second oldest uh boreal forest on the database last changed uh 1,359 days ago so we inspect it in game we flip it okay so this is the this is the play side and this is the back side and do you see the u-shaped thing and there's a lot of these other patterns you can see uh look next to the hole there's this little thing here there's also a little green thing with a mark in the middle we go back to the screenshot here look the little thing above the uh, above the hole and also the little green thing with the with the middle part scraped in so dude when i saw this bro i was so high so what i did i just typed in the um, the seed 713 i typed in the seed boom and in total there's only one field tested if you take everything in the world there's six in existence okay there's a field tested one there's two minimal wear ones and three well-worn ones and i unboxed the field tested one and it's kind of fucking kind of pog and kind of sad because first of all when you click on this guy's inventory this guy doesn't even own the knife anymore so so it's it's just fake man where's the fucking knife why is it on the database it doesn't even have it so then i did deep, deeper digging in okay and i wanted to make sure if this really is my knife if my knife that i unboxed is really the one of one field tested so what i did right what i did i went onto photoshop i took a screenshot of this knife in game and i compared it with these screenshots right here that i took uh almost fucking 10 years ago so i went into photoshop and let me show you boys this is how dedicated i was man i really want to find my first ever knife man maybe he deleted it dude no shot it would delete some like 
like that. Look at this, boys. Let me zoom in. I have both the layers here on top of each other. I have this. And look how it changes. Do you see? Do you see the scratches? This is my knife. Mine is very scratched and field tested. And this is the one that's on the database. And that made me cry, chat. I started crying, man. <laughs> because that's not my knife. It's not my knife, dude. Where is my fucking knife? Look, when you change the opacity here slowly, you can see, like, look at here. This black spot. You can see the scratch coming in. The scratch is coming in. There's many more other scratches everywhere else, man. If this knife is in point 20, point 29 condition, mine was probably like really bad point 34. And it doesn't exist on the database. So dude, if there's anyone out in the world who has my M9 Boreal Forest with, of the seed 713, come out, dude. Come out of the woodworks. Reach out to me. Sell it to me. I'll pay millions, dude. I want my knife, dude. The knife locked in storage, gone forever. Dude, where could it be, though? Where could it be? What is the chance my knife doesn't exist on the database? Bro, I'm, I'm scared now. It might be on some CSGO lounge. Bots, dude. Trade ban, ban, back ban. Something's bad. Something's bad to it, dude. I need to find my fucking, my, my little baby, dude. My M9 Boreal Forest field tested. Why is it so important? Because I'm, I'm a person that values um, sentimental things. I'm the most sentimental person in the, in the existence of the world, okay? I do not care about expensive things. I don't care about, I mean, maybe I do, but I care more about things that have a story behind them, okay? I've been playing this game for fucking 10 years, okay? So it does mean a lot for me to get my first ever knife. Probably the person who said uh, the knife is shit and traded the gut knife. Well, yeah, back then I didn't care about but now I care, dude. I can buy this knife back, okay? I have the funds to get it back. For it to just sit in my inventory as a little history piece. So I want to get it back, but there's no way. I can't find it. It doesn't exist, man. Yeah, so my theory, my knife might be just on an account that literally just doesn't play anymore. So it hasn't been registered on the database. Which kind of, it kind of kills my hopes. But also, if I can manage to add this guy, this Jose Tranza, I'm going to email him today, man. I'm going to be like, yo, what's good, homie? It's time to fucking do some work. I need to ask this guy who did he trade the knife to who did he sell it to and then when i get to the next guy i ask him where's the knife and when i get to the next guy i ask him and i just ask and ask and ask till i finally get my fucking knife it might take thousands of years but i don't care man i won't give up you haven't emailed him already you haven't dude i i added him on steam in hopes that he maybe accepts me but looks like he hasn't even been online on steam for 15 years so that's the story about my first ever knife chat i will keep looking for it till the day i'm fucking dead man i want to get it back i need it it's a part of my history i need it did you register on csgo exchange no voot csgo exchange didn't exist in 2014 the furthest csgo exchange goes to is 2015 february i think and i unboxed this knife in 2014 may i mean so yeah that's the that's the little story i want to tell you guys so hopefully i'll find this knife one day all right maybe there's the, the person that owns it's gonna fucking wake up all of a sudden and be like, oh shit, goddamn, bro. That's the prop knife. Let me ask for 15 fucking million, man. If he accepts it, sure, I'll trade it away. If not, I don't care, man. I'll go AFK for 10 more years. <sighs>